Hello everyone, welcome to another Python tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to talk about working with 3D OBJ models made in Blender and other programs in your Snap Engine. So some viewers asked if I can make a video on how to work with 3D models made in Blender and other 3D image editing programs. And so in this video, I'm going to address the request and show how we can do this. Now, if you're familiar with your Snap Engine or follow my your Snow tutorial series long enough, You'll know that the built-in models in your snow are very limited and simple. The most common ones include cube, quad, sphere, circle, and etc. Now you can make now to make complicated animations in games, um, these are not enough. You'll need to use your own models. So we're going to be using OBJ files for our case studies in this tutorial because OBJ file is a standard 3D image. Uh, format that can be exported and opened by various 3D image editing programs. Now it contains a 3D object which includes 3D coordinates, texture maps, and other object transfer object information. If you don't know how to make an OBJ file but want to use one, there are a lot of free OBJ models available online. And I've put in the description section of where I got my OBJ files in this video. So you can go check those out. First of all, let's create uh, our file and create your snow window and add in a background so we want to import our module so from your snow import star instead of our basic app so app is equal to your snow and then app dot run now to create our background so background i'm going to have an entity with the model being equal to a quad so the model equal quad. I'll set the scale equal to 20 on the x, 10 on the y. I'll set the texture equal to an image in my assets folder called blue sky. So blue sky dot png. I'm going to create another entity. Set the model equal to quad again. So the scale equal to 20 on the x, 10 on the y. And set the texture equal to an image in my assets folder, grass land.png. And lastly, I'll set the z position equal to negative 0.01. So if I save and run all of this, it should be grass land. Now I have my background in a grassland. So now let's create an entity with a 3D model made by a 3D image program. So to do that, I'm going to have, or let's call this entities. I'm going to have an entity E equal to an entity object. I'll set the model equal to an OBJ file from the models uh, for my models folder called pumpkin.obj. I'll set the scale equal to 2, uh, set the y equal to negative 1, and set the z position equal to negative 0.1. So if I save this and run it again, oh, let's see, easy to model models, pump of a pumpkin. That should be pumpkin. Uh, what we see is basically just a white pumpkin. And here, the pumpkin obj is a 3D model file in the folder uh, models. Now, when you don't add any textures, the color is just white. But the obj files exported from Blender and other programs usually have textures associated with them. So you better include them when making an entity in your snow to have a better effect. Now, to make it a pumpkin with more texture, all we need to do is add in oops. all we need to do is add in a texture parameter. So texture and set it equal to um I'm gonna set it equal to a PNG from my assets folder, so pumpkin color dot PNG. And so now if I save and run this uh, I have a much better looking pumpkin with real color. 
So the pumpkin color PNG is an image file that comes with the OBJ model file as one of the texture maps. So we also have two other uh, texture maps associated with this model, and let's see what they look like. So instead of pumpkin color, I'll set it equal to pumpkin normal. And if I run this, now I have a weird blue looking pumpkin. I'll also set this equal to, or set it as pumpkin roughness. And if I save run this, now I have a pretty rough looking gray uh, pumpkin. Now the pumpkin model has one object in it, and we can also have multiple objects in one model. So let's take a look at another example. Let's close this. Let's close this. And instead of a pumpkin, I'm going to set it as a mushroom patch. Set the y equal to negative one, yep. And I'm going to set the texture as mushroom round. So now if I save and run this, I have my mushrooms right here. So I have multiple uh, mushrooms, so one, two, three, four, five, all in one um, model, basically. So let's take a look at another one uh, that we can probably use in a future game or animation. So if I close this, and instead of it using a mushroom patch, I'm going to use hunk. So hunk.obj. And also the texture to uh, hunk texture. So the y, so the y here 2.5. So the z equal to negative 2. And I could scale it by 0.5. So if I save and run this, now I have this uh, looking weird looking creature on my, my mo as my model. Now some may argue that a quad or a Q model with the same or with the right texture image can do the same. Well, not exactly. To see this more clearly, let's add in an update function to have a 360 degree view. So to create our update function, we we'll define it up here, define update, and we will rotate our E entity around the Y axis. So E dot rotation on Y is equal to, or plus equal to 100, 100 times time by dt. And if I save and run this, now we have a nice 360 degree view, um, and with the textures, the textures with the cube or quad model won't be able to do the same thing. So now we can also try this with the pumpkin and mushrooms. So let me change these again. So models, pumpkin, pumpkin, OBJ, and pumpkin color PNG. If I run this, we have our pumpkin right there. Although that was a little small, so let me scale it up. I'll set the y equal to negative 1. And set the z equal to negative 0.1. And now we have our pumpkin right here. I can also change this to our mushroom patch. And set the texture equal to mushroom brown. And also the z. I will need these. I can set the z equal to negative one. And I'll run this again. Let's see here. Mushroom brown. And now we have our mushrooms right there. And we can just see that uh, these OBJ files are a lot different from just using our quads or Q models. So this is the end of this video. If you have any comments, please put them below the comment section. If you have not subscribed to your channel, please hit the red button below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.